Could you explain um, and Luke's usage of the Damascus document in relations to it being closer to the scrolls than Matthew is? Mm -hmm. For example, uh, we have a story in the Gospel of Mark of Jesus healing a man with the dry hand, Xeran Aiken Ten Hair. Xeros like Xerox, Xerography, you know, dry, mm -hmm. dry printing. Xeros, Xeran, uh, Xeran Aiken Ten Hair. Hair is the, the hand. Uh, and the healing is quite simple the day of the Sabbath, and then the following discussion with the Pharisees, with the people around him, uh, whether it is lawful to heal on the Sabbath or not. This is a, I would say, normal Markham story. In the Gospel of Luke, we have the same story in its normal place, and we have another version of the story in chapter 14, which closely resembles the Markham uh, original text. But then there, certain elements are changed. For example, instead of the man having a dry hand, he is full of water. Instead of being dry, xeros, he's hydropikos. Today we call him the man in drops. First, in fact, he is as though he were in a body of water. Which is strange. How is it possible that the man with the withered hand, dry hand, now has become a man full of water, in a body full of water? Moreover, the action of Jesus here, in this case, is very strange. Uh, because the, the Gospel of Luke says that he caught the man, or grasped the man, epilabomenos, okay. What is, it does not, does not make any, any literal sense. How is it possible that Jesus mm. simply caught the man or grasped the man? What for? What for what reason? He could just have extended his hand and, and healed the man. But he grasped the man, epilabomenos. If we read the Damascus document, uh, we have a similar discussion in uh, the so-called column 11 concerning what is lawful and what is not lawful to do on the day of the Sabbath. And we have a, an example, a halakhic example. Halakha is a discussion mm -hmm. of legal things in Judaism. We have a halakhic example of a man who is drowned in a place in a pit full of water. In a pit full of water. And then the discussion goes, is it lawful to save such a man on the day of the Sabbath or not? What do you think? Are you allowed to save such a man who fell into a pit full of water? Is it lawful or unlawful? Possible, allowed or not allowed to save such a man on the day of the Sabbath? What would you say? My next question is... Just a moment, because we, we need an answer here. <laughs> oh, okay, well, I got lost, sorry. What, what was the question? Could you repeat it? There is the Damascus document, column 11, discusses a case of someone who has fallen into a pit full of water. Hmm. And he's drowned in, the, in this water, somewhere in a pit. And now the question goes in the Damascus document. Oh. Is it lawful or not lawful, allowed or not allowed, to save such a man uh, in the water on the day of the Sabbath? What I remember. You... Yeah, I know what you're talking about now. I remember um, someone discussed that with me before on, a, I think it was a previous video. But yeah, um, if I remember, the if answer, I remember correctly. Yeah, is the that, answer is, is, is that is not. you are allowed, that you are allowed to save such a man provided that only hand and no tool is used, that you mm -hmm. use no tool, because using a tool would violate the commandment of the Sabbath. It would be work, working. If you do not use wow. any tool, for example, any ladder, any, any cloth or, or something, uh, any rope, you only use your hand and you catch the man and lift him up from the pit of water, full of water, then it is lawful to do such a thing on the day of the Sabbath. If you use a tool, then it is not lawful. Mm. So we have the reworking of this idea in the Gospel of Luke. What does Jesus do on the day of the Sabbath 
according to this story concerning the merman. Now, not more with the withered hand, with the dry hand, but with the man who is caught in his body full of water. Jesus catches him using no tool. So and apparently, in- according to the rule of the Damascus document, which is not contained in the Bible in the Old Testament, it's the regulation from the Damascus document, Jesus' action here is legal, is lawful, is allowed. Moreover, we have here an idea of the Pharisees. In one of, of my latest articles, on this basis, I argued that most important, at least the most important uh, writings among the Dead Sea Scrolls are in fact Pharisaic. Because not as seen mm. as it is usually assumed, but Pharisaic, because we have distinctive, distinctively Pharisaic ideas here, like the one with the man full of water. So in that case, Matthew's gospel doesn't really have that going on there. So it's therefore more distant from the the document uh, that you meant, just mentioned than Luke is. So Luke is more, fo- in other words, your point is Luke is more focused on the scrolls, which means it's, it must be earlier, but reasonably earlier than Matthew's gospel, because Luke shows a greater knowledge of the scrolls than Matthew does. Yes. And uh- the scrolls and the arguments, the halakhic discussions, Jewish halakhic discussions that are contained in the Dead Sea Scrolls. I gave you the example of this right. uh, using of the idea that, which is not biblical, which cannot be found in Leviticus, for example. It's only in the Damascus document. And it's applied by Luke in his reasoning that what Jesus did is according to the rule of the Damascus document, it is rule. When you take the Gospel of Matthew, Matthew has a parallel story about this healing of the man with dropsy, but he apparently does not understand the whole argument because he destroys the whole idea of catching the man who is full of water. Matthew includes here a strange story about saving a sheep, which is borrowed from Luke 15, a lost sheep parable. Hello viewers, thanks for watching this video from the History Valley YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And if any of you wish to further support this channel, please consider checking out this channel's Patreon page and becoming a patron. And or donate through PayPal or through Super Chat during a live stream. Thank you.